Meow and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. And we were just about to head into that pipe where the ordinator comes, so we're going to make room. There we go. Uh, I want to... I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit too... No, we were not headed, going to head into the pipe and into the sewers. Actually, I forgot that we wanted to sleep in Kaios Casadas' bed before we go there. So we're going to do this now. Make it quick, Outlander. There we go, and here we oh, see no, these no. are the books that I already read for story time. These are the books that I still need to read. And since we're allowed to use this bed, I want to rest until heal. Thank you very much. I want to recharge my Magicka. We also have some potions for that now, some... I might just use them. On the other hand, they are pretty hard to come by, so I might also not. Let's see. Back into the sewers we go. And then we want to head over here. And as you can see, there are some frame drops now here too in the sewers, especially in the lantern way. And this threat has respawned. Well, the more destruction exp we get yeah it seems that all the reds kind of have respawned will be no it's not all of them it's less reds than before but they did respawn at some point yeah i know that there uh, Dealing damage, but I don't care that much. There we go. So, we're just taking everything. See, there's no rats on this stretch. And here, there were also lots of rats here, so there are less rats than before. Not all of them did respawn actually during. Well, our. It must have been at least a week or something that we have not been here, but now we can take all of this. And head on. Of course, not long because, as you might see, I already used up lots of magic. I just took going here. But nonetheless, let's take all of this. There is an anvil here. Okay, and there is this sewer mod, which I guess is a new item. Ooh, there's even more stuff. As I already mentioned last time, I li really like it that lots of the stuff here is actually empty. And there we go. Also, there's something you should do, which is, if you don't have something to drink right now, go and fetch something. Um, if you have something to drink, then take a sip. I'm going to do the same, so we're going to drink together. Cheers. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. It's important. Ah, the fizzy stuff, so... What was that? What did we just pick up? I press take all while checking what it, a clay pot, okay? Very, very interesting. And I'm really intrigued about the stronghold thing. Last episode we had a message that in our request log that we can check on, on, on the progress of our stronghold, actually. Which sounds neat. And yes, I know, I've, it's actually quite new that I take everything in my way. Normally I, I'm, I turned rather picky because of the weight limit. But somehow, I just feel like taking everything which is not bolted down. Which is the normal behavior of role-playing role -playing games players. So it looks, it actually looks like, well, it is called Dungeon Mud, and basically that's what it, what it is. Uh, I guess that was Kwama X again, right? Uh, yes. Let's put them back. Um, and it looks just like dirt on the floor, and I, I mean, that's what mud is in the end, isn't it? It also weighs nearly nothing. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, 
that means um, it's time to go back again. Oh, you know what? I should, for the sake of heading back, no, it does, does not make much sense to actually mark this place and use recall because we have to walk over to Caius Casadas to sleep again anyway to recharge our magicka. And then from, from him, the way to this place is not as far anymore. So yeah, we are heading back and just going to sell to our good friend Ravir. Maybe try some potion making before, but not not as extensive as, as we just did. Um, I'm making it quick. I'm heading over here there and going to Ravir, who is always open. Also, we can sleep in the Mages Guild. Okay, I'm going to use Mark and Recall next time because we can sleep in the Mages Guild. Also, I should put that into an amulet. So I don't use Magicka to recall. <clears throat> yep. Amulet or ring or, or something to, to use recall. Okay, there we go. Ravir the trader, Barter. We want to sell you things. For example, we have an iron right bracer. We don't need iron stuff, right? I mean, iron, iron, iron. Something's with my shoulder. Anyway, baskets, I forgot to hold the shift key. Um, yes, gift baskets. And then uh, that's that. We have a pitcher here that we don't need anymore. And then let's first sell this and check our inventory if we can actually do something. Interesting bits would be would be actually to restore um, health. That's good that we can do. I can't put in any high numbers anymore. Or doing did I use the numeric keypad before? <laughs> that kind of confuses me. Restore fatigue, paralyze. It's not that many things that we can check now. Nope, does not seem that we like we can do more. May you walk on warm sands. Okay, may you walk on warm sands too, Ravir. Um, where are they? Where are they? Cheap lightning shield. Nope. Come disease can go. I'm actually going to sell the 45 Magicus too. Just because we don't use them that much. The Restore Fatigue is interesting in a fight, but I think two, three, four, five, five is okay. Restore Health and Magicka, I'm going to keep all of them. Now we're going to lose weight by selling that. Here we are. Now heading out to the Mages Guild. How wonderful. Welcome to take a nap, a cat nap, and then head back to the dungeon. Welcome. Isn't the sleeping? Yeah, that was where the sleeping quarters were until healed. I also have in my in my thing written that we did not check for quests in Balmora. Which I think is quite odd because I should have assumed that we did that right at the beginning. But it can't hurt to do this again, but I'm not going to do this now. We're doing this one dungeon right now. Say what you want or go away. Where we where we're trying to find this place. I should not have drink while walking here. Because it's too short. And then as you can see we have frame drops when turn around here. I guess it's because of those this massive amount of lanterns. I'm not that entirely sure. No, this red is still there and still dead. 
all of them are. So the respawn did not yet happen. Yeah, as you can see, I am actually pretty greedy with regards to what I'm picking up. But yeah, we do have that that task. It's, there's a lot of that. Uh, what was it? Salt rice. Yes. I actually did remember the name correctly. And mm, salt rice and marshmallow, which gives a uh, restore fatigue potions. There's a lot of salt rice here. Now come on. Bottles. Luckily, um, making potions does not use up bottles. You need to find or make. There, I, I do remember there was a mod that um, gave you the ability to create glass and then create bottles and all of that and reuse bottles. That was the right one. This is me training destruction. Oh, that's interesting. This looks like. Oh no, this is bottles. I thought that was that was red corpses. That would have been very weird if red corpses were laid out in, in, in a kind of a pattern here. But then I noticed a, it's not a pattern, and b, these red corpses. So uh, salt rise. So if I'm not mistaken, all of these animations also are part of a mod. Um, if you play the vanilla game, they are, but they could also be part of Open Morrowind, Open MW. Uh, there we go. Because it does add some uh, UI tweaks, even. It also has a separate hmm. mod interface, as far as it seems. So there, uh, so if you create a mod with it, it saves in a different format. At least that's that's how I understood it. And the editor is used, or feels in usage completely different than the built the, the the original editor. But both are not that easy to use. They're not with, not made with usability in mind. I mean, in the end, it's 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 just the editor with which the developers made the game. 241, 42, 3, 5. This should, yeah, this should already be too much. Three points too much. Let's put the meat away. Let's now use mark. And then we can also use, um, we, can, we can actually use, no, I don't want to delete Mark, I wanted to delete what's entered here. We can also use um, CV Intervention, actually, because it gets us on the other side of the river, where I already forgot its name. Now I can press Q and have another sip. Okay, there we go. Heading to our favorite fr trader friend. Uh, nothing much. Just heading to the trader. So one thing that I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to sell all that stuff. All the kitchenware, so to speak. Bottles. I also had a mod where you did have a clothing shop in Balmora, which was also interesting because it made you, uh, it was right here, right where I'm looking at now was the clothing shop and you could actually hire people and uh, I don't want to bother, I actually want to stay in, in the warm and see if I can make some potions. These are always interesting. Then um, restore fatigue. Oh, I got a lot for that. Uh, 
and then um, Fortify Magica is not that interesting, but also, yeah, these are just things that I have. It would be awesome if it showed me how many different uh, chemical ingredients I have, so I don't have to go through all this list, or just to, to have it filter to just show entries, to just show entries where I ha actually have more than one different ingredient. So th um, things that I can actually do. But OK. Potion failed. Sadly, if the potion fails, it does not train your skills in this game. So four or five. This is also 26 points. 26, yeah, it always gets weaker. Four or five. And then that's it. I'm going to keep all of health, all magicka. I'm going to sell all the excess ingredients. Now I'll double check that I don't have any um, household items uh, left. Okay, this is a bit more than I than he can afford. Let's do. Let's just reduce the amount here. Um, seems like we need to. Yeah, we need to remove all of them, and then just. Oh, I think. Yeah, I think even the. Um, let's just do this. That's just one gold piece. Sands. You walk on warp sense too, Ravir. Um, and then let's try this again one day later. So four or five, we do have this. Lots of these. And then we're back on low load. Thanks, Ravir. Now we can just have a nap at the major skill and then directly recall into the dungeon, which makes this a bit faster. Oh, wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. I remember in this game you could jump to be a bit faster because it was it was the times of the bunny hop. Please feel free to talk at your leisure. Were you faster if you jump? So you could just uh, you were jumping a lot. It does not work upstairs. Oh. Some games it also worked if you went upstairs, then you jumped upstairs because you were faster. And I forgot, we can just, just set it and then forgot it. We can just recall. There. Now back to Firebite and let's pick up the stuff we left behind. I'm not sure if the crates are actually fully secure, meaning um, I know that some some inventories of items do reset, and then if you put things in there, they will be gone. I don't know if it is in this installment of the game though, and I don't know which containers that applies to. So this is why I want to have the stronghold, because I know in the stronghold, since it's my own home, I know that the containers are actually owned by me, so they don't reset. Plus, it doesn't count as stealing there is anything in there to take. There. More and more stuff for us to make potions out of. Yeah, that's the that's the grinding of these games. I reopened that because it looked to me like there was actually something red. And there was something. Uh, I think I pressed the left mouse button to yeah. Did. You know, closing all of them with the left mouse button. Just to make sure that I actually pick everything up. Okay. I'm curious what will await us in the um, whatever kind of ruin that is. If it's a Daedric ruin or a Dwarven ruin. Okay, there we go. We can need to put something back again. Let's do the eggs.
And I think we can just do the auxiliary intervention because most of the way, I mean, it's just, it's just that part around here. And then we're around and then we can just enter the flooded canal. Um, I can also just do the alchemy here, but it's raining and I don't want to, I don't want to get wet. Let me have another sip. Not interact with them at all. So let us in the in the safety of this warm and nice place. Let us see if we can do some alchemy. Well, there's a lot of restore fatigue stuff. And another level up. We create a lot of restore fatigue potions. Should have checked for uh, Restore Magicka first, but I think Restore Magicka actually uses, that was the wrong button. I wanted to click that here. Burden. Cure common disease. Um, I think Restore Magicka uses very rare ingredients actually, like the Daedra's heart that we already had. Later installments of this game also um, have the effect that you can, or have the UI um, that you can just select, an, like the, you can just add a, an item and it will just show items that you can combine it with, or um, it just shows you things that you can actually do. You select them, so that was Oblivion, uh, no, that was Skyrim, where you could just select, I want to forge this and that, and you could only, it was grayed out if you did not have the ingredients, and this means all the ingredients. And there is, this is just a paper. Uh, why do we have more weight, though? Ah, because of the extra, yeah, Restore Magicka potions, because of the extra potions, right? So there's one fatigue, so they're getting... Yeah, they're, they're getting heavier, so I need to look... I need to look like this. This is like the, the, the lightest, and then there is four heavier, and this is the heaviest, so we're going to sell this one. And these are weaker, so we're going to sell these at anyway. And we're going to keep the others. There. Blah. Let's quickly recall out of that weather. There was the wrong button. I pressed the hotkey for the uh, for the magic attack. Which was not what I intended to do. Okay, so we were somewhere here. I think we were here somewhere. Yeah, this is where I put my stuff. Yep. Okay, so let us just head on to the next pack of items. Oh, that was... Wow, that was, that was a good find. Because there was some... Was it Moon Sugar? Yes, Moon Sugar is the name. The stuff that you turn into skooma. I just caught a glimpse of it as we took it. Let's see, here it is. Yes, Moon Sugar, which is very, very expensive. Which is very, very nice. Okay, so now we went around. And this means I'm going to head over here and head on to the next area. And then let's see what there is. Let's get into fighting mode to the flooded canal. 
So as it's there's voices. There's voices. That's real quick. Do we have water breathing? I don't think so. Winter guest. Bang bang healing. Summon Atronax. Is it staff? No, there is nothing here. I don't think we have water breathing potions either. Then let's head back and get a water breathing potion so we can. Phew. Okay, that was. That was close. I actually need to take a quick break and use the restroom. So I'm going to end this episode early. And next episode, we're just going to do it a little bit longer. I'm going to fetch a portion of water breathing and then see if we can listen in. I actually have to, I, I think in post-processing, I'm going to try to make out what they said and subtitle it because I did not understand much. I heard that that there was a guard saying something, uh, like there was a guard saying, what's this about? That I could understand. But what was said before, I actually could not. So I'm curious what they said. Could be the standard AI, I heard you phrases, or I, I saw you phrases, the, the AI, standard AI reactions. But we will see next week on Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye.